This is Mitch, your welder fabricator at kettlecornsupplies.com. And what we're going to do tonight is fulfill a request I get from a lot of customers, which is how to pop kettle corn and what, re what the recipe is. So why don't you come over here and we'll get started. Okay. I use and buy from Costco this regular old Mazzola corn oil. It's about the same price as the big restaurant stores have. They sell them in five gallons. I just like the fact that it's two and a half gallons and it's easier to pick up and move around. So we're going to start off with about three, a little bit less, two and a half to three cups of um, oil. Then we're going to have six cups of corn and we're going to have two cups of sugar. And then I'm going to spend about that much time shaking the salt on the popcorn after it's in the cooling table. After it's been cooled and sifted, we're going to put it into a bag. So let's get started on this. All right, here we go. Let's light her up. Okay. Now, come on over here. You'll see this bump right here? Right at the top of that bump, I'm going to fill it in just short of that bump. So there's about two inches of that bump showing up. About right there. That's all you need. That's about three cups of oil. Just a second, and then once it's heated up, it just about is. You see, I'm going to get some popcorn. I don't need much. I'm going to put it in here. Now I'm using this as a gauge. Then I'm going to grab my stir stick, and while this is heating up, I'm just going to just barely move it because I don't want the whole kernel to get too hot because it'll burn on one side. So what I'll do is I'll just touch it a little bit. I'm not really stirring. I'm just kind of moving it around gently. When I start seeing it pop, as you can see the oil is starting to bubble. I'm going to grab the six cups and dump it in there. That tells me this is 300 degrees and that it's about ready to start popping. Now when I put the popcorn in, it's going to cool down. So now it's popping. So I'm going to put it in there. Now I'm stirring a little bit. I want that oil to cover in it. I'm going to turn my heat down just a little bit. I like it about 12 pounds of pressure. I had it at about 15. So I got this in there. I'm just going to let it sit. Now you'll notice I've got gloves on and I've got glasses. When you're stirring it by stick, you need long sleeves, glasses, and gloves. Because these things start popping, it's like a missile out there. I'm going to add just a bit more oil. If I can find it. That's about three cups. Actually, I might have put a little bit too much oil in. I like a little bit less. All right, now it's starting to pop. Now, you notice I haven't put the sugar in yet. I try to keep it off the edges and I move it off the bottom. Now, I don't want to stir too much because the popcorn on the top will stay too cool. So, or two at the bottom will stay too cool. So we want it to just stay warm enough that it doesn't burn, but not too hot, or not too hot that it won't burn, but I want to make sure it gets hot enough and starts to pop. Now, you see these pops starting? That's a real pop, okay? So here's when I put the sugar in. I kind of spread it around. Now I'm going to stir because I want that, before it really gets heavy in the pot to popping, I want to get that sugar melted and covered, cover every seed possible. All right, now I'm going to switch to the other side. All right, now I'm stirring. I don't want anything right directly in the middle, and I don't want it directly on the outside edge. It's actually the outside edge is about 500 degrees. Now if you put too much sugar in it, one way to tell is it starts looking like it's a little burnt, a little brown. That means it's got a little bit too much sugar in it. And what it really is, it's not so much burning, it's just the, uh, oh, what's the word I want to use? Uh, I'll think of it in a minute. The sugar kind of sticks to it a little differently. Caramelizing, that's the word. All right, I'm almost stirring too much. 
this cabinet. Now when this gets going, it just goes. And then I'm usually listening for it. I kind of listen for it. It'll go puff like crazy. And then all of a sudden it just kind of stops. And you still hear some pops. And then all of a sudden, you gotta dump it. All right, here we go, we're getting there. All right, now you notice I'm picking up the speed. I'm keeping it mostly off the outside edge. I want those seats to stay near the middle of that bulb, but I don't want it on there too much. All right, here we go, and I'm picking up the speed. All right, six cups. Now I'm mostly keeping it off the edge. I'm going to handle it a little bit to get in front of this. Alright, now I'm going like crazy. Okay, I'm about ready to stop. Still going. The more I pop, stir. Alright, now it's stopped. Okay, so I'm turning it off. I'm dumping it in. Woo! There it is. Look at that, not one burnt pop. You'll notice there'll be some that are actually still popping. It'll, you'll see it explode a little bit here. Okay, see, there was one. Okay, good. That was a good batch. So now, I take the kettle corn, and I put it in my sifting table. There, go this way so you can see it. Now, you immediately heard the sound of the seeds falling into these buckets down here. And what we're doing is, you see these holes? The seeds that are popped and the smaller pieces get shoved down there. So we're going to do that. And while Spencer's filming this, I'm going to get the salt. And it's you got to have this stuff cooled because if it's too hot, and notice how much I'm putting on here. It's not a lot. If it's too warm, you try to put it in the bag a little too fast. It'll melt the bag. So, normally I have two of these, but I ran out. And you can just go back and forth. Sometimes I use the stick, which sticks fun too, and stir it. Yeah, that works good. So, okay. And I just stop when I stop hearing stuff falling through. Now you can do this all night and stuff will fall through, but you can tell right off the bat. Now I'm going to put a little bit more salt on it. Now I'm, I tend to like a lot of salt. And since I'm making this for myself and my neighbors and family, I'm going to have a lot of salt. Okay, let me grab a bag here. Let's grab the long one. I think that's the long one, yep. Yeah. I have three bags. This is the large one, it's 24 inches. The medium is 18 inches, and the small is 12 inches. They're all 8 inches wide. I get them from a company in Tacoma called Polybag LLC. That's their website, polybagllc.com. There we go. All right. Let's clear out a spot. Now I like to use these ties right here. Some guys like to use the tape machines. I like the ties. That way if a customer eats some, they can tie it back up. With the tape machines, you kind of have to, it's faster for the popper and everybody, but the customer can do it. There you go. That's how you make a bag of kettle corn. And one batch here will get two of these, larges, two mediums, and two smalls, which is about $30 worth. I sell them for three, five, and seven. So you'll get about $30, and I can do hmm, about four to five batches an hour. That's pretty good. That's $120, $150 an hour if you're, if you're popping nonstop. All right. Thank you very much. We'll see you later, uh, Kettle Corn Cousins. And remember to be mighty.